Hey, welcome back to the 30 days of healing. This is a healing series where I give you bite-sized pieces for you to implement into your life so that you can heal your trauma. No matter which stage of healing that you're in, if you want to see which stage of healing that you're in, go down to the description below, take the quiz, get the results, plus get free resources so that you can move into the next stage of your healing. I'm Angela, I'm a trauma healer, and I have been healing my own trauma for about 10 years, and I've been helping other women heal their trauma for about four years. So we're on like day 27 of the healing series, and I would love to hear from you if you've been on this series the whole time, what's come up for you, what have you liked, not liked, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment um, below, and I will comment back to you. So today is a very... I guess controversial, a controversial, <laughs> if I could speak, is a very controversial topic. And it is whether or not you have to forgive others in order to heal. Now, this is mostly for stage one of healing, maybe stage two of, of healing. By stage three, you really come to acceptance of what is and you're not really focused on whether or not you need to forgive people anymore so but this is going to be a very important topic because there's so much out there okay there's so much out there on you have to forgive people in order to heal and then of course there's the latter where you don't have to you don't have to forgive to move on to heal from trauma okay here is my take on it okay it is going to be strictly what's best for you. If you need to forgive other people in order to heal, then that's what you have to do. If you don't need that in order to heal, then that's for you. Now, here is my stance on this. I do not believe that you have to forgive other people for you to heal from your trauma. I believe that you must take radical acceptance of what has happened in your life and basically move the F on. And I say that because I have not forgiven my abusers at any level, okay? Um, and I'm not saying that I haven't come into acceptance of it. The thing is, is that we think that forgiveness is something that you say or something that you do. What happens is, is that you heal and you go along your journey and you come into acceptance of, okay, this is what happens. Especially if you've really focused on healing your trauma and the trauma just becomes an event in your life, like I mentioned in the series. I think it was like day five or something like that. Um, and it becomes just this event and it no longer controls your life. What happens is, is you naturally come into acceptance and you naturally come into this space of forgiveness. You don't even realize that you're doing it. It just happens. It's not one of those things where you're like, oh yeah, I've totally forgiven that person and I've moved on. Anybody that really says that probably hasn't. Because they probably, if they have really forgiven that person, they don't really talk about him. They don't talk about what's happened. They don't talk about the past of it. They, it's just, it's just there. It's just in the past and they have moved on. Okay. Whereas where people, they're like, oh yeah, I've forgiven that person. And then they're still talking about it and still talking about it and still talking about it. And it's like, no, you haven't moved on. You haven't forgiven that person. Otherwise we wouldn't continue to be talking about this. Okay. This is why I believe that forgiveness is a natural process and not something that just magically happens because you said, or because you worked on it, okay? I do believe that acceptance is truly the answer. And acceptance means that you don't condone. It just means that you accept that this has happened in your life and you're moving on because it's what's best for you, because you need to in order to heal your trauma. It doesn't mean that you're gonna go confront, which I never, ever, ever recommend that at all, period, to anybody. Um, but it does, it also doesn't mean that you're going to pretend that shit didn't happen. I'm not about that. So you do not need to forgive others in order to heal trauma. However, if you believe that that's the path for you, 
that's the path for you. If you believe that acceptance is more of the path for you, then that's the path for you. Do not get caught up in what's happening in the online space of telling you what is right for you and what is wrong for you okay this is why trusting yourself and trusting your own decisions and your intuition and trusting where you're led is going to be so critical for you you do not have to forgive other people in order to heal but if that's not what's right for you then that's not what's right for you and that's completely okay trust yourself i know that that's difficult after a life of trauma but if you're a coach and you want that financial freedom that you truly desire of 10k and beyond trust is going to be so critical and so you just want to trust yourself and what you're called to do and just go on from there and don't let anybody tell you that you've done it wrong because you haven't and healing looks different for everybody because everybody has different experiences and there's no way that I'm ever going to judge someone for not forgiving them it is what it is it, who why why are we asked and I want you to think about this why are we asked to forgive abusers it's so interesting to me and we really do believe that it sets us free but it doesn't have to okay it doesn't have to if you don't want it to but if you want to go that route you absolutely can okay I'll see you tomorrow bye